Asia. And I'm Asia's dad. Welcome to Fabulous, Fabulous Asia. That's right. Uh, with Corona on the rise, it's very advisable for you guys to stay inside. So, if you're going to be inside, you might as well be inside with us and build something together. Like the Arduino Opla Kit. A uh, big thank you to Arduino for sending us this to review. Asia, do you know what IoT means? Internet of Things. That's right. Uh, the Internet of Things is a thousands of devices online all connected together and sharing information. So today we're going to build two things. Cool! Alright Asia, let's take a closer look at the box. Yay. So here we have the o Arduino Opla IoT Kit. And inside, we have eight connected projects for home or your office. Cool. All right, so when you open the box, uh, the first thing you're going to see is there's going to be a sticker here with a code. Um, this code you're going to use to activate your 12-month subscription. So what you're going to notice first are these captive sensor touch sensors. Is that like you put your finger on there? That's right, that's right. And these will activate uh, different things depending on how you code it. We also have some RGBs here. And we have some sensors. We have a... Moisture. Yeah, moisture sensor. What's that? That's a light sensor. And temperature, temperature. sensor. That's right. And underneath this, um, there's actually a motion sensor as well. Cool. Okay, uh, on the back, uh, we have a place where we can connect the different sensors. All right, we have the place for the battery. And here, uh, this is where we have to place an Arduino because the maker here, the maker carrier is only a shield. It won't work by itself. So let's take a look at what else is in the box. Uh, now, this is the kind of battery that you need. This is an 18650 battery. Uh, this does not come with the kit. You will have to buy this separately. Captive soil moisture sensor. That's right. You can stick this into a plant and you can keep an eye on how much soil the plant has. But sadly, we don't have any living plants in the house. Wonder why. I wonder. Ask your mother. <laughs> All right. We have another little sensor on here. It's my favorite sensor. This is the PIR sensor or passive infrared sensor. I know that. Like that. It's like in banks. Uh, kind of like it's an alarm thing. That's right. That's right. This detects movement, um, but it doesn't tell you how many people are in front of you, or it also doesn't tell how far away they are. Just like an alarm. So this little Frenzel Frenzel lens. All right. This gives the uh, little sensor much more range and we'll be using this to make our project a little bit later. We have the Maker Wi-Fi 1010. Um, this is a relatively new board from Arduino. Not like the boards that we used to use a few years ago. It's much smaller. It is a lot smaller. So it's very similar to the Arduino Nano, um, but it's a little bit more advanced. And one of the main differences is it has this chip right here, this U-Box chip, and this allows you to use Wi-Fi and Bluetooth. Alright Asia, uh, let's put everything together. Okay, so we're doing two projects. That's right. We're first going, one is? First one is the weather station. Second one is the alarm! That's right. Um, however, when we build this, um, there's only one little difference in building the alarm versus the weather, weather station. station. And that is the PIR sensor. So we're going to show you how to put them both together right now. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to connect our Maker Wi-Fi 1010 and the Maker Carrier. Now a little tip here, you're going to see right here in white, you're going to see the ground pin and then you just find the ground pin here and you just line them up just like this. Okay. 
just push. There we go. All right, and for the weather station, that's it. That's all you oh, have to do. Easy peasy. Except for just plugging into a computer. Now, the next thing we need to do is we're going to actually attach to this PIR sensor as well. So, here we go. So you have the connector cable, and you connect it on the bottom, just, whoops, just like that. Okay, and then you turn the maker carrier over. And on the back, we're going to use the A5 connection uh, because that's what we wrote in the code. And we are Voila. ready to go. It's the movement alarm. Now, with this um, PIR sensor, you have two little dials here. So the first one you can time change. Delay? What's that? Is that time delay? That's time delay. Yep. Yeah. And this one is. I don't know. This one's distance. Uh -huh. All right. So let's see if now I've set this all the way down to the to the closest, so it won't go off too quickly. But let's see what happens here, Asia. Ooh. Okay. Asia, why don't you put your hand close to the? Oh, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> all right. It worked perfectly. Don't forget to smash the like button and hit the subscribe. See you next time. Bye.